Hey, yo, what is up guys? Zanecraft here. Welcome back to another new video. And then today, um, it's just something I wanted to do. I might do more uh, movie reviews and everything. But, as you can see from this shirt, I am wearing Venom and Carnage today. And that is because I have just watched Venom Let There Be Carnage. And my word, the movie is so, so good. It's, it's great. It's great. Um... Am I a little biased because I'm a fan? Maybe. But uh, it is really good. Better than I thought it would be. And kind of the re review scared me a bit. But then at the same time, uh, they trashed on the first Venom. And it definitely didn't deserve a 30. It definitely didn't deserve anything higher than a 60. But it definitely needed like something a bit higher. Maybe like, maybe like 45, maybe 50. Because, I don't know, I thought it was pretty good. But, this one is definitely a step up. Way better. So, should we get into the stuff I really liked and everything? Yeah. Alright, let's go. So, we're gonna start off here first with Woody Harrelson. My word, does he do an amazing, and I mean an incredible job as Cletus Cassidy. He's so believable. And him and uh, Shriek's relationship, you just see it on screen and you're like, holy crap, these people are actually insane and they definitely are serial killers and like crazy. And just like seeing that um, makes you like nod your head like they did a really good job. And uh, Woody Harrelson definitely, definitely made this movie perfect with Carnage and everything. And just Cletus Cassidy, amazing character, amazing character. Um, yeah. It was really, like, seeing him on screen, just finally, was so, so cool. And, um, the Shriek story was interesting. I think it's very comic book accurate. Um, but the story between him and Shriek, or Shriek's own backstory, is what starts off the movie. And it's, it's very good and interesting. I don't know. Surprisingly, there were no trailers, um, just straight into the movie when I got there. So, yeah. Um, but anyways, um, next really good thing I liked was, of course, Tom Hardy was incredible once again, and him and Venom's relationship in this movie is honestly so funny and so good. It just goes to show, um, when you, and I think this go really helps with, for understanding with us who had to live with our families forever with COVID and everything. We're still going through that. Um, uh, they can't stand each other and they live inside of each other. So they have a ton of fights and it's just really funny. Um, so yeah, Venom, Venom's way different in this film and it's definitely because of progression of time. This takes place like six months, I believe, later from the first one. So a lot has uh, really changed. For Venom, like, new things. Like, he's befriending chickens and shit. It's, it's funny. Um, but anyways, another really good thing I liked was the story. The story this time was actually really, really good. I liked, I liked how everything worked. And it, it's kind of fast-paced at the beginning. But then it kind of slows down in the perfect areas. Because obviously it's only an hour and 30 minutes. But still, it kept me on the edge of my toes. And it felt uh, kind of long in a good way um so like it begins with the obviously backstory then you go to eddie already uh going to cletus cassidy then you go to cletus cassidy's execution and the birth of carnage venom and eddie's fight then cletus cassidy on the run causing havoc um then venom and eddie making up and going to fight him than the big showdown. Um, so yeah, it, it was pretty good storytelling and um, I'm not gonna spoil like what happens, but it's it's just crazy. But I will go into a spoiler review starting in a minute after I talk about um, uh, maybe like one or two more things that I really liked in this movie. Um, carnage. He reigns some carnage. Definitely, like, crazy. I don't know. Would it be crazier if it was rated R? Maybe. But he's still very insane, and I love the story 
and how it works and everything. It's just, it's just way better than Riot or like, yeah, like way better than Riot and everything. It's just so good and I, I don't know, it just excites me. Um, then, yeah, so it's really good seeing him in live action finally and it just felt, I don't know, nostalgic and, but also new and amazing. His voice is freaking crazy and I like it. Um, so yeah. Then, um, the, I know there's one more thing I should probably say that I really liked about it. Um, the fight, the fight was way better. It was way better than the last one because obviously the last one, it was kind of all like sludgy. They kind of mixed together and then they, it wasn't really that great of a fight, plus it was way too short. This one is way longer, and you get to see a lot. You get to see the ups and downs, the highs and lows, or, yeah, the ups and downs and everything, and it just keeps you on the edge of your toes, so I really liked it. All right, now into a spoiler review of it. So if you have not seen the movie, I recommend to leave now, but if you want my review before you leave, I give Venom Let There Be Carnage a 9 out of 10. It's really good. So go watch it. Anyways, now into the spoiler review. So, let's go. Um, what can I start off with? Um, well, that's obviously on my mind. The post credit scene. When I first read up on this, I didn't believe it. And the whole audio file was incredibly, incredibly fake, and it was so shit. But then I saw another one, and I'm like, hmm, kind of real, kind of not. But then going into the theater and seeing that it was real, I just, it was a mixed bag. I'm glad that it works and Venom isn't um, in the MCU. He just comes to the MCU from Doctor Strange or Peter fucking with the... I, I, okay, I'm going to share something here. I do not like the story of Spider-Man No Way Home. It just does not work. Why does Peter messing with the forget me spell bring all these freaking villains back, including Venom? Why Why in the hell is there a forget me spell anyways? Anyways, anyways. So it, it works and everything and it's a little better um, than what I thought it was. And the only thing it really doesn't have going for it is the logic of Spider-Man No Way Home 1 and 2, the timeline. Because, um... Or actually, maybe the timeline could work, because obviously Doc Ock's coming back, and that was like all the way back in 2002, or like 2004, actually. Um, so maybe maybe the timeline could work, but um, yeah, uh, it, it's, it's a mixed bag for me. It wasn't insane, it wasn't crazy, I mean, you see the trailer, Spider-Man No Way Home, so... Yeah, I wasn't going to see it before, but I think if Tom Hardy has a possibility of being in it, I will go see Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, if not, I'm not going because I'm just not excited for it as much as any other people are with the hype and everything. But let's go back to the actual film here. Um, Cletus Cassidy dying um, was a tiny bit disappointing. He had a lot of potential and everything. But I found his death quite funny because obviously uh, uh, he's being a dick and then Venom gets pissed off with him in the end and he's like, fuck this guy and he eats him. It's It was funny. Um, the ending I really liked. It was, it was kind of uh, adorable to see them reconcile and um, be on the beach. Uh, being all buddy buddy and talking about lethal protector i love that they brought that in from the comics that is so that's great they brought it in from the comics lethal protector that's just amazing um toxin i don't really know how that will work um because like i i don't think the symbiote could have spawned before venom ate it um so i'm not positive how that would work but yeah um venom and eddie's fight i thought that was really funny and obviously like uh venom goes away from eddie that's how the party scene happens and venom venom just like 
uh, hangs out and parties with some people and everything. Um, then he bonds with Mrs. Chen for a while until Annie comes back. Um, uh, then, what else? The fight with them is really funny. I like, uh, you can actually see it. Uh, in a video where Andy Serkins breaks it down, you can see most of the fight and what happens, but not the funniest part where, like, Venom is on a bike flipping him off uh, as he goes away. I don't know. It's just funny. Um, but anyways, um, I don't know what else to say. I think all I have to say left is that this was an amazing movie. I had a good time. Are critics wrong? Well, maybe. I, there are some inconsistencies. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, but still, it's very, very good, and I definitely recommend for you guys to watch it. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you in the next video, which is tomorrow. It's going to be a funny one and everything. Um, so yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.